Greetings, all praise, the King. Studying at the library, Edward Snowden stumbled across this group. It's called the Center for Media Justice. Supposedly, Edward Snowden hails as some kind of a freedom fighting organization. Although that sounds about in line with saying that private companies are to blame for spying on people and that encryption and Tor is going to help you. So, like, for example, this advertisement says our right to protest and organize is being threatened by local and federal surveillance um, you know, supposedly they're branding themselves as protectors of activists that are being infiltrated you know, on their digital devices this says half of all adults in the u.s are in a police facial recognition database don't get paranoid get proactive so Ross took it upon himself to call and see if he can get some information. It's going to take five minutes before talking to anyone. And much of the video was cut out because much of it was not talking to anyone. Center for Media Justice. Hello, and thanks for calling the Center for Media Justice, home of the Media Action Grassroots Network. We're on the web at www.mag-net.org or www.mediajustice.org. If you know the extension of the person you'd like to reach, you can dial it at any time. For a dial-by-name directory, press 1. For a list of staff extensions, press 2. For press inquiries, dial extension 410 for Turner Wilman. For presentation, to reach Malkia Cyril, Executive Director, dial extension 401. Ocean Terman, please hold a moment.
Hi, you reached the event manager, Ocean Terman, here at the Center for Media Justice. Leave a name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able to. Take care. Bye. Hello, and thanks for calling. To reach Malkia Cyril, Executive Director, dial extension 401. Ocean Terman, Events Coordinator, extension 402. Imran Sadike, Communications Director, extension 403. Shiloh McCabe, Administrative Coordinator, extension 407. Please hold a moment. Levi, and I saw an ad on the internet, and I am hoping to speak with somebody about obtaining services. About, um, I'm sorry, about which? About obtaining advice. I see. I'm an activist in Florida, and... I have trouble in my work, obstruction. I see. You know, specifically, you know, I do documentary and my videos are corrupted. Um, you know, while they're being, while they're being made. And, you know, my computer is jammed. I've had several that have been shut down over the years. I see. Is this what you guys help with? Well, that's not exactly uh, what we do. Um, we are generally um, organized around um, advocacy and activism uh, related to media and technology uh, policies and practice. Um, we have a membership organization in which members of that organization, uh, of the members, members of that network are able to get um, technical assistance and technical, you know, uh, capacity building services. Uh, but we don't necessarily represent uh, individuals in in court, if, if, that, if that's what a, I understand you to be saying. Oh, no, no. Um, I, I just, I'm not a very, you know, computer proficient person. And it's difficult to defend myself against these assaults. You know that are taking place 
um, on a computer that's never been hooked up to the internet. It's just a basic desktop computer. Yeah. Do you have um, any, uh, maybe, uh, do you, would you happen to know how you, you, a computer like that could be accessed? Uh, no, I don't. Um, if you're saying that it's never been, you know, connected to the internet, um, I'm just not quite sure how that would happen. Um, well, I purchased them off Craigslist and I don't connect them to the internet. I just use okay. them for making videos. And I uh -huh. spend quite time, you know, some time on making videos. I like to spend more time, however, I'm unable to because they're corrupted normally while they're being saved. Hmm. Well, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, one possibility is that it, in that you're using used equipment or previously used equipment um that they're you know they they may be damaged i mean the only thing i could suggest would be to um, have a diagnostic run on the drives um to see if the drives themselves are you know are problematic well this has happened to almost every computer i've owned i see so no matter what computer i get if i buy the new technology it doesn't last because it's just within you know a short period of time it's it's uh, completely shut shut down to not operate inoperable completely um, but the older technology usually lasts longer it's but well, it's within the making of the videos I mean I, I obviously I can make a video that's doesn't have a significant meaning and I won't have a problem uh, you oh, know, yeah. with that video but if I make a video that may be uh, apparently you know intrusive uh, it, it, it will <coughs> recently become a problem I do the act I do active work so I try to get around large populations and I you know I have a bullhorn and this kind of work I do I consider it ministry uh, most the foundation of, of my work is the, the scripture the holy scriptures I see. and yet you know it's something that's been ongoing for years but it's been so subtle as to not detect exactly what the, the problem's been but as time's gone on um, it's become you know very apparent that um, the, com the, the computers actually being accessed and uh, the, the somehow the, the uh, software is manipulated as well as other software such as the Word document because I do quite, you know, I do some writing and I stopped using the computer for writing because somebody was able to get into it and change the writing on the Word documents. Well, um, uh, you know, I, I really, once again, we, you know, we don't offer those kinds of services, um, you know, and, and just from hearing what you're saying, the only thing I can think of is, is that it might need um, to have a diagnostic run um, at a shop um, to see if that might be what's going on with the, the equipment. Um, these are usually Dell, Dell computers. What I've had, I've had maybe another brand or so. But is there a brand that people normally use to that's more secure, in your opinion? Um, Apple, Macs. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't try to support that company, but uh, okay. But All I right. would maybe get one used, I suppose. Okay. Well, well, good luck out there. All righty. Yeah, um, are you, what are you the, in charge of, the deputy uh, assistant manager there or something? Yes. And are you guys funded through the state? Uh, no, no. Oh, you don't receive any funding through? We don't, we don't receive government funding, no. Any NGOs? 
on you? No. How did you get started? Um, actually, I have to step into a meeting now, but all of our information is up at our website, which is how you, you, you found us through our website. Yeah, do you have any events coming up? I'm also listed up at the website. There's a calendar of events. Gotcha. All right, okay. Craig, have a great day, Craig. Bye. Media Justice, home of the Media Action Grassroots Network. We're on the web at www.mag-net.org or www.mediajustice.org. If you know the extension of the person you'd like to reach, you can dial it at any time. For a dial-by-name directory, press 1. For a list of staff extensions, press 2. For press inquiries, dial extension 410 for Turner Wilman. For presentations and workshop requests, dial extension 402 for Ocean Terman. If you are a funder or inquiring about the status of a grant, dial extension 408 for McCray Parker. To reach bookkeeping, dial 406. Our mailing address is 436 14th Street, 5th floor, in Oakland. Please hold a moment. Center for Media Justice, this is Tina. Yes, Tina. <clears throat> I'm an activist in Florida, and I'm looking for some help. You know, I need some protection. Um, I'm not sure that you've reached the right person. I handle accounting. <laughs> um, and in, in a meeting right now, do you know who you're trying to reach at CMJ? The executive director? Um, now, Pia's not in the office. Do you have a cell phone number I could call him at? Not that I can hand out, no. I can, I can pass on a message, certainly. Yes, it's just that, you know, because of the circumstances, I'm unable to give out a phone number. Is there any way that I could set up a time to speak with him? I, I, I don't have um, access to scheduling on Melchior's calendar. Yes. Is he available I, I, in the Like office? I said, I handle bookkeeping, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm in here a couple days a week. And if I come out there, is there someone I can speak to face to face? Um, there's only two people here right now, and we're both in a meeting together, so. Is Craig the other guy? Yeah. Uh, I spoke to Craig. All right. I can pass on a message to someone. Well, um, Craig's got the information. I'm, I'm needing some help with this situation you know, with the infiltration into the computer. Oh, so you spoke with him and he has the information? Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.